I have one brand of coffee, really, Death Wish Coffee, and we don't, you know, get too far outside of that box. Um, just because we know what we're good at here, we, we specialize on that one product, and we we treat our customers right, and we just hammer our brand home. So I never felt like I was an entrepreneur while I was failing, you know. And I think that's everyone's biggest fear is to be a failure. And after I got my car repoed and you know I lost my house, you know that that's like, ugh. I'm like, all right, definitely not an entrepreneur. Right? Good Morning America called that one day and said, hey, we heard about your coffee. We want to feature it on our show tomorrow. And the next day, we oversold. We sold a ton of coffee. And I think I had something like $65,000 in debt. And I watched that PayPal account go up. And I think once it hit around $65,000, I was like, OK, I can, I can pay all my debt. After all my debts are paid, and I was back in the black, I had a plan going forward a plan that I was very confident was going to work out. I think that's when I felt like an entrepreneur. I won New York State Entrepreneur of the Year through Ernst & Young this year, so that's the follow-up for that. That will be the for the United States Entrepreneur of the Year. So I'm looking forward to that. One of all I remember, I remember sitting in class and every day and thinking, everyone here is so freaking smart. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I'm like the curve is gonna kill me. The professors were great. I mean, really made me feel like um, at home. I, I probably must have went to them a couple of times and I'm like, I might be in the wrong, you know, I might not be smart enough for this. And, and they really made me feel like comfortable. Like, yeah, you're, you're doing fine, you know. We'll help you if you need it. So, so my dream is to have my own own my own facility. Um, I am looking to stay in the Capital District. All my employees you know, have friends and family here. And they're super talented and I wouldn't want to lose them. Now we're going to put out you know, the strongest tasting, best tasting coffee. And, and do it the best way. All organic, fair trade, you know, as responsible as possible.